All right, it's Daryl Chambers here from Impower. So in this video, I've been promising you guys for a long time and it's finally here. Um, yeah, so in this video, all I'm gonna break down is the most used punch in boxing and martial arts even, and that's the jab, okay? So what is a jab and what a jab can do? A jab is your lead hand, okay? I'm right-handed, so a jab's gonna be my left-handed. If you're right-handed, you're gonna switch it around and it's gonna be your right hand. But for, for argument's sake, we're just gonna say it's your lead hand, okay? So what a jab can do for you, okay? It can literally control a fight. All right, a good jab can push your opponent up. It's great for finding the range. So if I'm moving around, I'm there, I'm finding my range. And if I've got a killer right hand, okay, I'm never gonna lead with my right hand. Only a few fighters in time have got away with leading their right hand consistently, okay? Roy Jones Jr. is one. That's because of his freakish speed, okay? You never really wanna lead in. Even on camera, you can see that coming, okay? You can see it from back there. I'm coming straight in. By that time, you're gonna hit me with about five punches, okay? So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna have the jab there, fire a nice straight jab out, once I've got my range, once I've got you thinking about my jab, that's when the right comes, okay? And that's, if that's your knockout shot, that's okay. But you need to set it up, okay? And it's not just for boxing and fights. In my boxer size classes, I always start with the jab, okay? It's the, the, the punch that you need to learn, okay? It's the one that sets up everything. Even in boxer size, okay? You, you're, you're with a partner and you're on the pads, you start firing shots, but you realize you're short arming, okay? You wanna find the range, all right, guys? Always find that range, all right, find the range. So yeah, so what I'm gonna cover in this video is the jab and what I see going wrong in the jab, okay? In boxer size, obviously the amateurs, but at the pro level as well, I always see it. Especially when you get tired, I do it. I've been boxing since I was 12, okay? And I still do it myself when I get tired. All that happens is we're in our stance, we're ready to fight, everything's ready to be set up, and we're punching, okay? You might think, oh yeah, that's a good jab, and I'll agree with you, okay, because it's me. But nah, it's not a good jab, because what I'm doing, I'm relying solely on my arm for the power, okay? A lot of people do that naturally. They don't use the body as one unit, they rely on the arm. It's called the arm shot in boxing, okay? So if you're doing that, what I'm doing, every time I punch, I'm bringing my elbow out, and then I'm punching straight, okay? A more seasoned vet, if I'm fighting somebody, a seasoned coach will see that, and it's called a tell, okay? Because that's exactly what it does. It tells my opponent what I'm about to do. Say the first round I come out and I'm doing that, oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then the coach goes back and he says, every time he's jabbing, he's bringing his elbow out and I come, bang. Eventually, you're gonna hit me with a right cross as soon as my elbow comes. I'm not even gonna have the time, okay? So yeah, it's an arm shot. People have an arm shot because they think power and they just think everything can go in the arm. And that can be fine. You can get some power in it, don't get me wrong. But one, you may hit, and if I'm using my arm, you, you realize I haven't got a lot of snap right now. I'm trying to get it back. And there's not a lot of snap in my shot. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna jab, and again, we're gonna get countered, okay? So it's all about get, developing that snap and developing the body. So what we're gonna do, from our stance and from our hands here, we're gonna focus on twisting our bodies this way so the in-power logo goes from here to an angle. I'm twisting my body, I'm twisting my hips, I'm twisting my shoulder, but my jab's going straight, okay? So I'm twisting my body, the jab's going straight, and it looks like this, okay? There, just there, okay? There's no telltale signs. This is straight from my guard, I twist and I'm straight out, okay? And it's a quick snap a quick snap okay rather than the arm shot as opposed to that okay even though i'm getting more power in the first one there's more of a snap in that i can get three off before you've even got one of your arm shots off plus when it's an arm shot your arm's gonna get tired i don't care who you are okay your arm's gonna get tired very quickly talk about another tell a tell tell sign and another punch i see for supposedly power is what happens is people go from the stance to a perfect stance and they'll either drop the hand then go forward like a coil spring, I guess that's why that's why that motion happens, okay? So they bring it back, and they think by loading up, this, it's loading up, okay? You never really want to load up, you want to be as frequent as you can, okay? By loading up, they think they're going to get more power, okay? So they either drop it and lower, or they just bring it back and then forward, okay? At least with the second one, your hand's still there, so you may be able to catch a counter, okay? But if, again, if you're doing it over and over again, so you might get away with it once, and if you, as soon as you realise it, just cut it out, okay? Because you might be here, and you drop it, bam, drop it, bam, drop it, bam. What they're going to do is they're going to let you actually jab. So they're going to let me come there. They could hit me now, but my guard's still kind of there. But they're going to wait till it's there, then come over with a cross again, okay? So we never want to get hit with a cross. A good jab is, is crucial, guys, believe me. Okay, so yeah. So going back to what I said earlier, the jab can set up big combinations. As I said, a right cross. Lennox Lewis had one of the best rights ever. I'm saying it in heavyweight boxing, okay? His right hand would, could knock out anybody, okay? But he never just went in like this, okay? He never did that. Maybe he did it once or twice against Holyfield, okay? But usually, he set it up with a jab, okay? So if you want a fighter to watch that sets everything up with his jab and then comes back with a monstrous right hand, Lennox Lewis would be a perfect, perfect fighter to watch. 
yeah, so stay tuned. In my next video, what I'm going to do is analyze some of the fighters that have done this, okay? So again, I'll probably use Lennox Lewis, use his jab and show you guys how, a nice, how he had a nice firm jab, how he didn't tell the jab, how it got through. And um, I'll tell you, I'll show you somebody that telegraphed, gave tells to their opponent and they lost to a lesser opponent just because the opponent realized, the opponent admitted after as well, that their coach realized that every time he was jabbing, he would drop his hand, okay? And that led to him getting hit with a right and getting knocked out. So yeah, stay tuned at Empower UK. Peace out till next time.